Hey everybody. <clears throat> Alright, it's Wednesday. So Wednesday's my usually my day off of work, most of the time. Anyways, I go around to banks, and I was really just popping into banks trying to order boxes. And uh, the one bank I go to, I'm pretty friendly with the head teller in there, just by talking to stuff, and she had this $5 bill for me. So it's pretty cool. It's just a 1963. It's in decent condition. It has a little tape on the end over here. Alright, so she had this and $100 and half dollars. So I took the half dollars, went through them, nothing. Went to another bank. Well, I cashed them in another bank because I don't cash in where I get them from. I always tell you that, guys, that never drop where I pick up. Went to another bank where I was ordering a box, said I want to pick it up on the next Friday, whatever. And they're like, we have $130 in halves and some loose at the counter. I'm like, give me everything. So we went through it. And I was lucky enough to get one silver out of it. But heck, it's 1965. That might be better than I actually score going through a whole box. <laughs> I mean, the last three boxes, I didn't get any silver, right? So it's 1965. Pretty cool. Uh, I think I got two coins coming in the mail. And they're f actually through Coin Talk. I uh, put a trade thing up on there that I wanted to trade for large dollar coins like I did on... YouTube over here, and I got a hit. The guy's coming through. He's sending me two coins. He's sending me uh, a Morgan and a Peace Dollar, which is only in junk silver condition. And this is what I'm going to send him: three 1964s. Uh, this is, I think, it's a 53. Yeah, it's a 53 Franklin and two War Nickels that are silver. So that's going to be traded. It's if uh, my end of the silver is actually adding up to a little more than the. Uh, Two dollar coins he sent to me, but it's it's not really that much. Uh, show and tell. Look at this right here. This is actually a dollar cylinder to keep coins in, you know, dollar coins. But I still have that uh, the roll with the Franklin on the end. I'm keeping it, I'm not opening it. It's my last one left. I had three all together. The other two I opened on tape, <clears throat> and I showed you guys. What else do I got going on? Oh yeah, 1974 half dollars. I wanted to show you. I'm gonna add a clip right after this. It shows it with the magnifying glass, and then two pictures. One picture of mine, and one picture of a eBay selling of one of these coins. And the, it was only went for uh, four four bucks, like four dollars and twenty five cents. But it still it's cool. Every time I get 1974 D's, I take out my magnifying glass. This is the one I'm using now. This one's pretty cool. It has light on it too. It's 45 times. 25 millime mm's, millimeters. So if you guys want one of these, I'll send you a link where I got it through eBay. If you guys are interested in this, it has a light on it too. Let me blind you for a second. There you go. Blinded you. Alright, so that's all I got going on right now. Just figured I'd share a little bit with you guys. And when I get those other coins, I'll show you those coins. Uh, and, you know, this this 1974 that I have it marked because I want to make sure I don't mix it up with the others. It's There's a lot of them that look like they're double striked. But you'll see by the picture of the one on eBay, how much double strike that this one's pretty pretty good. I mean I could see the double strike. I have other ones over here that really look like they're thickly stroke double struck, but there's no miss on the second strike. It's like right on top. You it has to be able so you could see it a little bit to the side. Like the picture you're gonna see from eBay. Alright, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, if you get have any questions or anything, just PM me. Alright guys.